Hi, this is Simon from Tokyo Productions and welcome to this quick tutorial for Motion 5. And this is a tip for how to publish a drop down for Final Cut Pro 10. A very useful trick. So what I'm going to do is going to come over to my library and I'm going to grab a couple of shapes out of the shapes library. So let's grab the five sided star, the hexagon and let's go for the pentagon like so. So I've got three shapes in a group and I want to be able to rig them up to a drop down menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a clone. It doesn't matter what I make a clone of, it can be anything. But I'm going to take that pentagon, right click, make clone layer. And for convenience I'm going to drag that out into its own group. And now I can turn off this original group here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the inspector, select the clone layer, and over here I'm going to come down to Add to Rig, Create New Rig, Add to New Pop-Up. And this creates a new pop-up with my pentagon in there. So this is Snapshot 1. I'm going to select Snapshot 2, and I'm going to drag in the five-sided star. Then I'm going to select Snapshot 3, and let's add the hexagon. So now, as I go through these Menu options, snapshot one is the pentagon, snapshot two is the star, and snapshot three is the hexagon. So now all we need to do is publish that pop-up, come over to our project pane here, there's my pop-up, snapshot one, snapshot two, snapshot three. Obviously I can give them names here, hexagon, and so on, come over to our project, you'll see that pop-up has now got those names in it. And of course we can add anything we like to this. So if I come to this group here, turn it on again, I'm going to select the text tool and type pop-up. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Center it up. Let's turn off this group again. Let's come to the rig and let's add an extra item. So click on the plus there. Let's call this text, and then we can just drag that text item into that clone source well like that, and then come back to our project, and you'll see that we've now got that text as an item. So literally, we can swap out anything we want very, very easily. Okay, I hope that's been useful. Thanks very much indeed for watching, and I hope to see you again another time.